Okay, in your lesson files, under 0500, you can get this, the skull plane. This is on the DVD. On the DVD. That means if you found this video somewhere, uh, you'll have to find Jason Welsh DVD ZBrush to take advantage of all the lesson files. Here, I have subtools. And what I want to show you is the ability to take a subtool plane. This is a polyplane, and this is just a regular old cube. What I want to do with the cube is trick ZBrush into thinking that it's there, but not technically there. Okay, and I'll show you what I mean by that. First off, I'm going to set it up so it's transparent. To do that, I go into transparent. Just like that. Then, let's go to this other one and take the material and change it to basic material. That way it's easier to see. Okay. Also, you can keep that material by going into Material, Color, Fill Object. So now it's always going to be white. If I go to this one, what I want to do is Launch Shadow Box. So shadow box is going to cast across all subtools and give me this. And this is a good start. Okay, first off, let's get started with the idea of adding a little bit to this mesh by subtracting away the original. So I do that by going in here and I hold to the mask and control alt click and drag will delete all masks okay now it would be easier for me to see the polyplanes if they sat outside the shadow box wouldn't they just a little bit because what happens well if i make a mask in this area it'll overtopple the shadow box or the subtool in the center so let's repair that can I go back out of here? I can. Okay. So let's uh, hold Shift and Control. I can highlight one of these, and I can go in here and say Mask. So down here below, under Masking, I can basically. Uh, click and drag holding control and command and mask this entire thing then I could show all of them by holding control and shift and clicking anywhere and that show all of them now this one's masked this one's not so that allows me to go down here to uh, deformation and offset this in X. So I'm going to offset it in positive X until I get it to the point where it's it's just inside and not much. Right, right about there. Just inside the polyplane so I can see it. But it's not over top of the actual shadow box. That's very important. Okay, so what do I do now? Well, I can inverse that mask if I wanted to and save myself a step. So inverse in this case, I'm going to offset this one by Z. Okay. So I click Z, off click X, and this one's going to go, yeah, I guess positive, even though that doesn't make sense, but that's all right. Again, I want to move this back enough so it's just inside the box, but not too much. and it's very sensitive it's very 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 sensitive if you get it close you might want to do it numerically like I got it close now and I can go over here and say type in 5 20 10 no, number five, and there we go. Very close. 
double click scale and I have this now I would save this out because it was complex to make and I will be saving this as uh, step two I probably will not be giving this to you because I want you to go through the steps all right then after you're done you can clear all masks and then go on to the next lesson so go down below here go down to masking clear and meet me in the next video